good morning everyone welcome to all in this lecture number 29 of module 4 that is production and services so basically in this lecture we are going to critically analyze the prevalent production and services related to production processes so let's see so in this lecture as i told you just now that we will do analysis of the existing production and service systems so in previous lectures we talked about production we talked about types of productions process of productions need of productions policies related to productions that all we talked about the production in the previous lectures so basically in this lecture now we are going to analyze the existing production and service system critically so if you see main points <coughs> so we are going to cover the achievement of the production and services system today then commonly observed problem and their effect some of the possible solutions and some case study where efforts are being made in the direction as a solutions so all this point we are going to cover in this session so points to evaluate the existing production systems <clears throat> so basically we are going to study whatever we are producing today is it necessary or not is the production processes available as are eco friendly and human friendly or not all this we are going to study and we will also study the problems we have created today due to negligence on both these fronts so these points basically we are going to cover in this session so we are going to critically evaluate the present production system so first point is we will evaluate the system in the context of utility of produce whatever is being produced in the prevalent society we will evaluate them in the context of utility of those production so today we are producing or manufacturing many things many such things which are actually not required either for nurturing and protection so if, if i recall the previous lectures where we talked about the production in that lecture we studied the goal of production so we studied physical facilities are required to be produced for nurturing protection and right utilization of the body so in that context we are evaluating the present production processes so if the produced things in the prevalent societal system are not nurturing and protecting human body or not facilitating any social activities then why are we producing those things so we have to take care about the utility of the production many people are engaged in that kind of production processes that are actually damaging the body that are actually doing harm in the social in the society for example production of cigarette production of liquor are these nurturing the body are these protecting our body human body are these production facilitating human social activities if not then why are we producing it 
so if these kind of production are not ensuring nurturing of the body production of the body or any meaningful activities in the society it means it is being produced in the context of madness of profit so as we discussed earlier before production there is a clarity of need there should be a clarity of need before starting any production system so if we are not clear about our need if we don't have feeling of prosperity then we may start producing those things which actually harm the body of human being which actually do damage of in the society and that examples are like cigarette liquor etc tobacco so we have to evaluate all the production process in terms of utility of produce so you can take pause for 2 minutes make a list of production make a list of physical facilities which are being produced in in the system then you can evaluate them on the basis of utility of produce so if they are not nurturing the body if these production if these physical facilities are not protecting the body then is it required to produce them this question we have to ask ourselves so first criteria to evaluate our production is the utility of the produced if the if the production if the physical facility don't have any utility in the context of human being in the context of nature in the context of society then why we are producing those kind of things secondly many things are produced only to gratify our senses or because of social pressure and they have ill effect on health of the body so if you observe today's society many of the physical facilities are only for gratify our senses irrespective of the need of the body so one problem with this kind of production is number 1 if we produced only to gratify our senses then those productions cannot satisfy human being in continuity so as we studied human being is a coexistence of self and body the need of the self the consciousness is continuous in time so feeling of trust feeling of respect in short happiness is continuous in time so if we are producing things only to gratify our senses then they cannot make human being happy continuously as we studied that body is a material and if we try to get happy from the body at one stage things become intolerable for us so with gratification of our senses when cannot be satisfied in continuity so first problem in such kind of production is that a human being cannot be satisfied in continuity number 2 it creates burden on the rest of nature and with gratification of senses one becomes greedy one feel deprived because satisfaction cannot be ensured through those produced things which are actually produced for gratification of our senses so they have ill effects on the health of the body economics and overall functioning of the society so this first criteria of the evaluation is in the context of utility of produce 
so we can evaluate the produced thing on the basis of utility the things have to be produced only if they have some utility for human being related to body related to self or related to ensure ensuring facilitation in direction of human society otherwise it is of no use then there is another way to evalu evaluate the production processes number 1 eco friendliness of the process so whatever is being produced in the society whether it is eco friendly or not so for example if we are using chemical fertilizers insecticides pesticides in agriculture are these eco friendly are these substances eco friendly so if they are not eco friendly then ultimately they will harm the ecosystem similarly there are many by products of industries which are discharged in rivers or released into air and ultimately harming the body of human being harming the body of animals disturbing the whole ecosystems such kind of things are such kind of processes are used in the present industrial systems so if the processes are not eco friendly then it should be stopped because ultimately all of us wants a harmonious society all of us wants a fulfilling life with healthy body with healthy mindset and if we are not using this eco friendliness in our process then ultimately it will create diseases in our body so second parameter of evaluating the production system is eco friendliness of the process so in the last lecture in the previous lecture we talked about the process of production where we talked about the four order so material order animal order bio order and human order we talked about these four orders and we studied that all the three orders are mutually fulfilling with each other are in cyclic process with each other but if we talked about human being so human being has a question mark if human being is not using eco friendliness in their processes so if we are not using eco friendliness systems eco friendliness processes in our production system then ultimately it will create lot of burdens on the whole ecosystems and which ultimately affect the human being mentally and physically both and next parameter could be human friendliness of the process so when we are making production systems we should treat human being involved in those process as a human being workers are not supposed to work like machines so in today's system to maximize the benefit to maximize the profit workers are being used as a machine they have no scope of emotional happiness in the present system they are being burdened through work and they are treating as a machines only as a resource of profit maximization so it is another important point the people who are involved in the production process should be treated as a human being it means justice should be ensured with human being involved in this production process so these are the uh, three criteria 
to evaluate the present social system or to evaluate any production system so let me sum up all the three once again so one is utility of produce whatever is being produced is going to right utilize is going to nurture is going to protect the body or not second thing is eco friendliness the whole process of the production system is eco friendly or not so eco friendly means the produced things are in order are in harmony with rest of the orders are not then ensuring justice with human beings which are involved in the production system so these are uh, three evaluations which can be done easily you can do a small exercise by yourself make a list of production process go and visit the production processes and evaluate those production processes at these criteria so negative outcomes of existing production system because of the ignorance of the three criteria which we have talked just now there are many negative outcomes like pollution resource depletion global warming climate change polluted rivers etc many problems you can find out in fact the whole world is now concerned for these problems in fact our development have become has become unsustainable due to these problems and ignorance of the right criteria of evaluation so all of us are well aware about these negative outcomes and these outcomes are because of ignorance of this human friendliness eco friendliness and utility of the produced thing so if we ensure these things definitely these negative outcomes would be minimized gradually now there is another problem of waste so we have not designed our system in alignment with rest of the three orders so there is another problem in the society that is a problem of waste kind of production system which are being made in the society are producing lost a lot of waste and this waste has become a major issues nowadays so you can easily see in the cities in the mega cities which are considered highly developed in those cities this waste has become a major concern and this waste exist because we are not producing things in alignment of the rest of the three orders we have designed our social system social structures in a manner that it is not being complement to rest of the three orders so you can find out i think every one of us is aware about these issues and its effect on human and nature as i told you as we discussed many times that if we see human body due to those production system many diseases we are facing today because of unnecessary consumption because of over consumptions of things being produced so things are being produced and it is being projected as your need the things are being projected as if they are source of continuous happiness so people are overeating people are over consuming and are equipped with many diseases so many diseases are showing up because of the consumption of produce which are not conducive to human body so we are using many types of preservatives many types of chemicals to keep the things for longer time and it is 
primarily affecting the human body and not only human body but also effect on the earth so many species have become extinct and many more are endangered so this can be easily see if you are aware about your ecosystem many species in last 100 and 200 years have become extinct due to our industrial process due to our gratification of senses due to of the productions which are not being utilized by human being so continuous reduction depletion in natural resources due to overuse many at times misutilization all these affecting the earth and its ecosystem so these are some effects on human being and nature you can make a list of many effects all of us aware about these effects in fact many researchers many people related to development are now concerned over these issues so if we correct our production process then all these issues can be minimized gradually so what is the solution let's talk about the solution so we can see solution for example energy the use of natural and renewable energy sources can be possible for energy problems so if we use renewable energy sources rather than fossil fuels it can solve many problems of energy so use of fossil fuels as energy option should be discouraged so for example gasifier with bio car production should be used all those kind of production processes which are actually made by or processed by renewable energy sources should be encouraged so for example solar energy is also abundantly available to all of us in fact except human being all the plants animals are using this solar energy for their living so we can use solar energy which is always available to us similarly biogas systems wind energy similarly animal power so out of these four orders one order is animal order and the power of these animals can be utilized in the right manner then also the human power has to be utilized so we should focus on the use of these natural resources renewable energy resources then animal power human power after this if required we do invention we should use technology to facilitate all these things so if we do this kind of things definitely it is going to help in minimizing the prevalent problems which are happening due to the production processes similarly water so you can see that total annual rainfall in india is around 2925 but water requirement is 230 cubic but still we are grappling with the shortage of water so basically why we are having this shortage of water because the maximum percentage of water is stored by forest in tree roots but due to deforestation as it is going on for industrialization for urbanizations so this due to this deforestation the water storage has become a problem so in our traditional systems there were many small sources of water like ponds lake etc which used to store the water but due to this urbanization deforestation all these sources have been vanished over the time and now there is a problem of 
the water which we are facing. Another indiscriminate use of water in urban areas. So if we see the lifestyle of the cities, lifestyle of urban areas, indiscriminate use of water happens. So if people are not using water with the feeling of relationship, then definitely the scarcity of water is going to happen. So we can make such kind of solution like we can have ponds, we can have lakes around the cities, we can make such technology which may use, which may stop the overuse of water etc. So all this creativity has to be evolved while designing this urban areas and there should be right understanding of being complementary complementarity to rural areas. If we do all this kind of things then this wastage of resources can be minimized. Similarly, as a solution, we can see natural farming can stop the pollution of water bodies, which is somehow because of excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticide in the farming. So instead of encouraging this kind of farming, we can encourage natural farming. Similarly, we can reverse desertification. We may plant many, we may develop more forests so that the reverse desertification can happen. Then there is a need to ensure the wisdom of using right utilization, protection, enrichment of water, enrichment of natural resources on the earth. Such kind of initiative like water harvesting in urban areas can be planned. So these are few suggestions to mitigate these problems. There may be many more solutions. In fact, you can add your solutions in the list. Next important thing is localization and globalization. So as we studied, human being is coexistence of self and body. And whenever we are talking about the need of human being, we talk about the need of body and need of the self, both. And we studied it in previous courses, in previous lecture of this course also, that need of the body, needs of the body are fulfilled by physical facilities, materialistic things. While the need of the self is fulfilled through right understanding and right feelings. And this we discussed many times during the course. So if we sum up uh, the essence of these discussions, we can say fulfillment of the needs of the body should be ensured locally. So whatever is required to nurture the body, to protect the body should be produced locally. Because in the previous lecture, we studied relation about local environment and the human body. So whatever is produced locally suits best to human body and fulfillment of this need of self is possible only after global universal expansion in terms of knowledge and feeling in the self. So it means there is a need to globalize the relationship, there is need to globalize the knowledge, there is need to globalize the reality of this existence. While there is a need to localize the physical things according to the region. So today's problem is that we are talking about globalization of physical facilities. So production should be done locally as far as possible and knowledge, relationship, feeling should be extended up to undivided society and universal human order. So, we can say there is a need to globalize right understanding, 
globalization of right understanding, right feeling is required. Mindset of living in relationship of mutual fulfillment should be globalized. On the other hand, we can say physical facilities should be localized. So whatever is required for the nurturing protection of the body, like clothes, house, food, etc., should be made with available resources, available lo locally available resources. So if we ensure glob globalization of this right understanding, right feeling, and localization of this physical facility, then most of the problems which we are facing today in the present scenario can be minimized. So in this lecture, we talked about the prevalent production process and we try to critically analyze them and we talked about globalization of this right understanding, right feeling and localization of physical facilities required for the body. So if we ensure these points, then definitely the prevalent problems which we are facing today and increasing gradually time day by day can be resolved with this kind of steps. So that's all from my side. Thank you very much. Let's meet in the next class. Have a good day.